Hey, what's up? This is Gio. It's June 8th, 2022. The weather right now is super nice. I'm here at downtown LA. The weather is 75 degrees. It's sunny and I like the weather. I'm just here outside sitting at one of my favorite spots here in downtown. I'm here at Bunker Hill. I just love going here. It's peaceful. It's super clean and I feel safe. <laughs> All right. So in two months time I'm gonna be one here living here in in LA all right and I just I was just thinking that you know why not make a vlog of the things that I observed here and I'm gonna mention 10 things that I have observed here living in downtown LA or in Los Angeles as well because I've been living in Hollywood in uh, downtown LA as well and also in Beverly Hills so I've observed a ton of things going on here and these observations for me might help you if you think of moving here in Los Angeles. All right, so if you wanna know more about the things that I've served here, stick around and watch till the end of this video. This is GeoTV. Number one, the weather. All right, I arrived here last year. That was the 4th of July, I could never forget that. And there were like fireworks, you know, greeting me when I went out of the airport. And yeah, it was it was so meaningful for me. But anyway, that was the 4th of July and that was nighttime. And it was supposed to be summer, but well, it was the start of summer actually. And well, I come from the Philippines, you know, it's always hot there. There are always three seasons there and they are uh, hot, hotter and hottest. <laughs> yeah. and. Well, when I stepped out of the airport, I was thinking, I mean, I was, you know, I was actually expecting that it's going to be really hot. And well, it, it's not my first time to be here in the US and um, it's my third time here. So, well, I was still, I was still expecting, you know, that it's gonna be really hot, but the weather is actually nice here in the summertime. And, you know, it gets really hot during the day, but it gets, you know, cooler at, uh, at nighttime. And that's what I like about here in California is that, yes, it's always sunny, but it doesn't really get hot during the evening, okay? And um, most of the houses here, I observe, they don't have um, air conditioners because, you know, where I come from, we most of the houses or the buildings, well, the buildings here the corporate buildings they have air conditioners but the houses here or i mean in the philippines the houses in the philippines most of the houses have air conditioners but here they don't have it they only have heaters probably because um it gets cooler at night all right so where i'm living right now i don't have air conditioner i only have heater i guess and that for me is okay because um I don't think you know I don't think it's really healthy if you are um, if you're locked in a room with air conditioner all the time and yeah so it's because of the weather here most of the houses don't have ACs which is nice which is really cool it doesn't rain here very often and um, people I observed that there was a time that it rained and that was like transitioning from summer to um, uh, to autumn and people get really um, surprised. I was surprised as well because when it rains, it really pours. Number two, it's all spread out here. I mean, I've been to big cities in so many countries. I've also been to New York. New York is very different compared to Los Angeles. You can't compare the two because in, um, in Los Angeles, um, everything here is all spread out. That means because the place is really big, you cannot actually say that, you know, there's a downtown area here because um, even if you say there's downtown LA, but there's a lot of downtowns here. So there's not really one place where you can actually say that this is downtown. For me, the whole place is like downtown. So that's um, that for me is an advantage and disadvantage at the same time. Because if the place is all spread out, it's kind of difficult to, to move around because that that brings us to number three. I ha actually have a list here because the transportation here, I would say that um, is not as accessible compared to New York. 
Well, again, you can compare the two. They have a subway. They also have buses. You know, they're actually very convenient. If that is, if you are actually familiar with everything, I, there is an app that I always use for me to re really navigate the whole place here in Los Angeles, and that is Move It app. So this app um, helps me to to get on the buses, the trains, and sometimes those scooters, you know, those little scooters that you see on the corner. I come from a small town, and when you say that, you know, okay, I'm gonna see you in 20 minutes, you will actually arrive there in 20 minutes time or sometimes earlier, like 15 minutes. But here, if you say that, okay, I'm, I'm gonna see you in 20 minutes, it's like a 20 minute drive, actually it doesn't it doesn't feel that way, you know, trust me, it's so different. Um, if you like, you know, I always use the Google Maps here to navigate the places where I want to go. And it doesn't feel like it's like a 20 minute drive if, you know, if there's a place I want to go and it says 20 minute drive. It doesn't feel that way. Maybe because of the traffic, which brings us to number four. The traffic here is as bad as um, the traffic in Manila, in the Philippines. So it's not a surprise for me. And there's a lot of crazy drivers too, you know. Um, that is sometimes if you want to cross, you have to be really careful because there's a lot of drivers who don't really yield to pedestrians. So even if you see the light that is, you know, it's a go signal for pedestrians, but you should, you should still, you know, see both left and right because a lot of drivers are not really considerate to us pedestrians. <laughs> Number five, room rentals are so expensive here. So when I moved here, I was living in West Hollywood and I was just renting a loft and that was, well, the loft cost me around a thousand dollars. So, well, it's because West Hollywood is um, a really expensive place to live. So, and I moved to another place and then I made, I still paid a thousand dollars, but at least that was a room that was in downtown downtown LA right here all right and then I moved again to West Hollywood and then the, the room cost me uh, 1300 so the room rentals here are really expensive and like what I'm renting right now it, it cost me 1300 and it's unfurnished there's no bed there's no furniture whatsoever so I have to buy a bed I have to buy a furniture I'd have you know all that stuff so it's really expensive so you need to have a good paying job if you want to work here because you know if you're living alone well you, you can actually find a, a room here that is like a shared room but i don't want to live in that kind of situation i don't want to share my room with anyone because i want to have my own private space so yeah and also the the hotel rooms here because i've stayed in a lot of hotels um, the cheapest that you can get actually for, you know, for a room in a hotel, in a cheap hotel, um, you can get it uh, for as low as $100 or $90. So, yeah, that is, is that expensive for you where you're living? Because for me, that is really expensive where I come from because like $100 is like, um, is like a luxury hotel already in the Philippines. You know, there are a lot of nice hotels, luxury hotels that will cost you like even less than $100 a night. Here, $100 a night or even $90 or $80, that is really the cheapest you can get. Number six, homeless people. There's a lot of homeless people here and you can see a lot of tents and that is where homeless people live. And when I first came here in 2018, I was really surprised. I was shocked. I was culture shocked. Because I thought that, you know, those homeless people that I see on the movies, they're just all made up. And it never really occurred to me that they are actually true, that they actually exist here. And I sometimes think, you know, that USA, this is the land where everybody wants to go. This is um, the place to be. There's a lot of opportunities. But yeah, there's still homeless people here and that is really shocking to me and um, also there's a lot of crazy people here <laughs> just a lot of crazy people walking around sometimes I sat with um, a crazy guy 
on a train or on the bus and sometimes I feel afraid you know because they might do they might do something bad to me but I don't know why I mean there's just too many crazy people or is it because you know there's a lot of drugs here or is it because um, uh, marijuana is legal and they've you know they've sniffed too much I don't know there's just too many crazy people here that's what I observed um, it's really surprising for me because again where I come from I don't see a lot of crazy people in my city there is just like one or two crazy people there but not a lot you know not a lot of people not a, I mean not a lot of crazy people and speaking of crazy people which brings us to number seven Weed is everywhere. It is legal. Yeah. <laughs> and I tried, you know, I tried smoking some weed here, but the effect on me is different. It made, it made me so sleepy. I want to just want to go to sleep. But they also have a lot of varieties like edibles, you know, those gummy, they, they look like gummy bears. And well, again, the effect is also different some people have different effects on their bodies when they use weed um, but for me it's good it's good for me to take to to, to uh, you know to take some edibles if I just want to sleep that's it so guys if marijuana is illegal in your country you will go here you better go here in Los Angeles because it's legal here and some other states like New York it's legal as well so you'll have a time of your life you'll end up smoking for the rest of your life <laughs> smoking weed number eight people here in California are so friendly um, I was a little bit um, shy or uneasy when people just you know greet me how are you you know how you doing because you know if we don't do that in my country well it's just pretty normal here to see people greeting each other even if they don't know each other like you know if you walk past someone and you know you just say good morning how are you how do you do and at first I was so shy I don't know what to answer because <laughs> you know for me when somebody asks me how are you that for me is like a really difficult question to answer come on guys imagine if somebody's asking you how are you for me there's like an introspection time for me I mean Am I really fine? Am I okay? <laughs> how am I doing? So, yeah, it's just casual here to ask how are you to everybody. Okay, just a tip. If somebody says to you or asks you how are you, you know, if you don't know that person, just say I'm good and just, you know, answer back. Or ask him back, how are you too? Or how do you do? All right? I'm good. How do you do? So, you know, just something like that. It's, it's not really like... A, a conversation starter for me they just want to say that to you because it's the thing here number nine the American English yeah I know I speak English but I have a different accent my my boyfriend he says when when he first met me my accent was so thick but he told me that you know eventually your accent will disappear which I think it's you know disappearing <laughs> but I'm not trying hard to make it disappear but what I'm saying is that I have a different accent um, where I live in the Philippines we do speak English but my kind of English is is re it sounds different you know I pick up a lot of accents um, British American um, Filipino accent you know and then I use those accent you know those accents different kinds of accents um, in, in speaking English so that is why when I first came here I was really shy to really talk to people because I was thinking you know that maybe they don't understand me and people just speak really quickly here Americans talk really quickly here I mean they have this habit of rolling their T's really quickly like for example um, let me like when you say um, community right community 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 <laughs> where I come from we say community so we always pronounce letter T really clearly and like Saturday 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 whatever all right whatever um, so yeah their letter T would sometimes would always sound letter D 
but for emphasis, you know, you pronounce letter T clearly, like if you want to say whatever to someone, like if you're angry or something. But, you know, for normal conversation, you know, just, they just roll their T's really quickly, like whatever, all right? <laughs> so that's it, whatever. Oh, I forgot something. There was, there were these two instances while I was talking to somebody on the phone and he was, he just talked really, really quickly. He talked so fast. I didn't understand a thing and I didn't know what to answer. So I just said, um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Can you say it again? And he was like, I didn't even mention my name yet, <laughs> you know? And there was also one time that uh, this person was looking for somebody whose name is Autumn. And, but he said, how can I talk to Ad Adam? Adam. It, for me, it sounds like Adam, like Adam and Eve. And I was like, you know, there's no Adam here. And then suddenly it dawned on me. I think this guy's looking for Autumn. So, you know, that like what I told you a while ago, Americans have this habit of rolling their T's really quickly that it sounds like letter D already. And number 10, each city has its own vibe. All right. So I arrived here. I lived for six months in West Hollywood. So the vibe in Hollywood is, I would say it's pretty laid back, you know, but um, again, I come from a small town. I feel at home in Hollywood because it's not as fast as compared to the, the, you know, the pacing of the city is not as fast compared to other cities. Like if I compare Hollywood to downtown, like here in downtown LA, I feel that I am really in a big city like in Makati in the Philippines or in BGZ, right? Bonifacio Global City. You can look that up on, on YouTube and you will, I, I feel that I'm here in, BG, in BGC, all right? And if I compare again um, downtown LA or Hollywood to Beverly Hills, where I live sometimes, because I have a friend who's, who, who, stay, who lives there and I sometimes live there for, you know, for a few days. Beverly Hills is really different compared to other cities that I've been to. Beverly Hills is just so clean. The place looks so fancy and I'm seeing a lot of fancy people and I feel so safe there. I don't know, I mean, probably because the place is expensive and when, well, for me, you know, if, if I go to an expensive place, I feel safe. And that's what I always feel every time I stay there in Beverly Hills. And, well, I've been to New York as well. New York is pretty hardcore, right? So, um, but I like New York, especially in Brooklyn. I love Brooklyn. I want to live there. So, like I, like, like I said, each city has its own vibe. It has, it has its own culture. And right here in California, particularly here in Los Angeles, I feel so at home. All right, because I'm seeing a lot of Asian people here. I see a lot of Chinese people, um, Koreans, Japanese, Indians, Mexicans sometimes look like Asians too. So yeah, I feel at home here. So maybe that's one reason why I don't really miss home that much because I feel so much at home here. I belong here. All right. But when I went to New York, I felt different because um, I don't see a lot of Asians walking around, particularly Filipinos, and I see a lot of black people there. Uh, my boyfriend and I went there um, in, well, just a few weeks ago, and he felt so much at home there, and he said, this is my city. I don't want to go back in California. But well, he has to go back, of course. And that's it. I love California. And again, in two months time, I'm going to be one year here, and so far, so good. Um, I've been everywhere and because I've been doing walking vlog already so I've been to a lot of places here particularly tourist destinations and I know where to go I know you know how not to spend a lot during vacation so I know where to go to and yeah guys thank you so much for sticking around and I hope you've learned a thing or two on the things that I love here, on the things that I have observed here as well. And I'm pretty sure that I'm still gonna have more, you know, in the coming months, because I'm still new here. I'm still pretty new. 
and I haven't marched around the country that much and um, probably in time, you know, and I want to go around country because I love to travel. And thank you so much for sticking around again. So I hope you liked my video and well, if you like it, don't forget to click like and well, of course, click subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll get updated on my videos soon. This is YouTube.